So let's go ahead and start with the first task at hand, and that is how can we load a Swift UI view in a UI kit application? So if you look at this application, this is a UI kit application. You can see the view controller, UI view controller. If I run this application, you will simply see that it displays a view that is green in color. Now, what if we wanted to load a Swift UI view in our application? How would we do that? Well, the first thing we need is the view itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a views folder and then create a brand new Swift UI view. I will call it stock list screen. You can call it stock list view. That's perfectly fine. In the stock list screen, we're just going to go ahead and create some stocks. Just so that we have a view that we can display. Oops. There we go. Now, over here, you can already see that we don't have anything called stock. So let me go ahead and add a stock. And a stock can have a name which can be a string, and a stock can have a price. We'll just mark it with double. All right. And we will also make sure that the stock is identifiable. And we can go ahead and create an ID property, make it a UUID. We're just trying to create a very simple interface which can display a list of stocks. Now, we don't really want to use this format as currency. If you want to display the currency, you know, there are some formatters that you can actually use. So let me go ahead and do that. Input type, in this case, stock.price, and format can be currency. Now, the currency code, I'm just going to go ahead and say US dollar for now, but you can also take locale into account. So this is our Swift UI view. This is a stockless screen. All the data is hard coded, but this is just for an example. And it displays a couple of different stocks. What if we wanted to load this particular view, a Swift UI view, into our application? Let's build our application first. Okay, looks good. Now, it really depends where you want to load the stockless screen, because if you go to the view controller, the view controller loads this particular view, which is already part of the view controller, and simply sets the background to be green. We can always go to the scene delegate. And you can see that in the scene delegate, I am assigning the root view controller. Now, if I'm assigning the root view controller over here, this means that the view controller is the root. Okay, which is fine. So this becomes the root. If we run the application, this is our root view controller. This is the first controller that gets displayed on the screen. Maybe on this particular page or this particular view controller, maybe I want to create a button that will take me to the stock screen. So how can we do that part? Well, currently we don't really have any button on the view controller. It's just a normal view controller. So the first thing I would do is I would add a navigate to stocks button. So I'm going to go ahead and add it as a lazy property. There we go. So now we have a navigate to the stocks button added. You can see that it is using a UI button. We have a title. We are setting the auto resizing mask into constraint to false. We're going to be putting our own constraints on it. And then we are also returning the button. But that is not really adding the button to anything, right? So we will go ahead and add the button right over here. View dot add sub view and then navigate to stocks button. If I go ahead and run the application right now, I may be able to see navigate to stocks button, but I don't. So what's the reason for that? 
Well, we didn't really put any constraints on it. So navigate to stocks button dot center x anchor and then constraint equal to the view dot center x anchor dot is active equals to true, meaning the navigate to stocks button center x, meaning the center x anchor, meaning the position will be equal to the view center x anchor. I'm going to do the same thing with the y axis. Great. Let's go ahead and run it now. Okay, there we go. We can actually at least see the button. We can actually go ahead and now remove the color or probably change the color to something else. Let's say white. Good. Now when we say navigate to stocks, we want to show the stock detail screen, which is a Swift UI view. Hmm. Well, one of the things we need to figure out is how do you handle a button click on the navigate to stocks button. So navigate to stocks button dot add action. You can see that we have add action. And in the add action, we can provide a UI action. And we don't really care about what is whatever is passed to us, so we're going to ignore that part. But this is where we will navigate to stock list screen. And the control event will be over here, will be touch up inside. Touch up inside, meaning when you actually click on the button. Now, another thing that we have to keep in mind is that if we are going to the, or you're navigating to the list screen, how would we do that? Meaning, we don't even have a navigation controller. If we look over here in our scene delegate, you can see that we are not injecting the navigation controller. The root view controller is just the view controller. So probably we should be using a UI navigation controller with the root controller, which is the view controller. And that is how we're going to get access to the navigation controller. Now let's go back. And now we can actually perform the navigation. So self dot navigation controller dot push view controller as the controller that we want to push. And now we can use the power of the UI hosting controller and pass in the root view as the stock list screen. Animate it to be true. And this is the UI hosting controller that is going to be imp uh, very important for you. And it's in inside the Swift UI import, so make sure you do that. So UI hosting controller is going to allow you to host a Swift UI view inside a UI kit application. So we use the UI hosting controller and we provided the root view as a stock list screen. Now let's go ahead and run this. When I click on navigate to stocks, it actually takes me to the stock screen. Isn't that cool? Like some portions of your application are UI kit, but when you go over here, this one is a Swift UI view. We just developed it two seconds ago in the stock list screen. So this is kind of cool that you can navigate from one view, which is a UI kit view, and you end up in a Swift UI view. All right. So this is how you will present a Swift UI view in your UI kit application. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then check out my courses on Udemy. I have a lot of different courses on Udemy, uh, including the building real-time chat application using SwiftUI and Firebase, ChatGPT, augmented reality, MVVM design pattern, and V pattern, that's the one that I follow, uh, reminders application clone, and I also publish an application for Swift data that I continuously update. So definitely check out those courses. Thank you so much.